Here we have a new 2023 Toyota Tacoma. This Tacoma comes in the limited trim level in the standard black paint. And then we have black leather trimmed interior. The powertrain consists of a 3.5 liter naturally aspirated V6 engine. And that's made it to a six speed automatic transmission. And this will be the last year to get your naturally aspirated V6 with a 24 refresh coming soon. But as we come around to the front end here, love the look there with the LED daytime running lights, LED headlamps, and LED fog lights. Just a fantastic look all the way around. And this grill looks so great. That just, that's an eye popper for me. It almost reminds me of like the Denali grills that you get on GMCs. It's just beautiful. Down here we have the 18 inch alloy wheels. Get passive keyless entry on the front. I love how we have the badges blacked out too. Now over here we have one touch automatic up and down windows for the front. And then we have regular power windows for the back. Power door lock controls, rear window lock, and our power mirrors are right here. Pick a side and then you can adjust with a dial. Two small bottle holders there. We get a six speaker JBL sound system. Please excuse the wind noise if that's coming through. Trash to control, toggle, automatic high beams, etc hood release pedals now we do get a manual tilt telescopic steering wheel the release you just pull down there you can set that and there we have the power driver's seat with two-way power lumbar but i have the seat up front adjusted for someone of my size being 6'3 with longer legs so let's see what this back room looks like now this is pretty funny you see the u.s canada parts contents 50 percent that's more American than a lot of American cars. Gonna hop back here. And no surprises here. Leg room is not great, but I mean, I'm fitting back here. Headroom's also not the best either with the sunroof. But I mean, this is a mid-sized pickup truck. That's about what you expect. Again, I'm 6'3". Have that seat up front adjust for someone who's 6'3". So most people won't have this problem, but it would be a somewhat problem for me. But I don't know of a, a mid-sized truck that I can really fit in anyway. And then we have a grab handle here. I'm not seeing any hanger hooks to hang shirts, but oh well. Fuel cap there. I like the tonneau cover on top. I'm assuming that's an option. There's the back end there. Tow hitch, spare. And you just pull here. And it looks like we have that kind of hard cover bed there. And then we also have a, a bed map too. A bed mat, I think I said bed map. Then we have a 100 volt three prong plug in there storage compartment here and we do have the seat back pocket on this side here and then our anchors are back in there huge shout out to Don Roberts Toyota for letting me review this Tacoma today I'm gonna take a quick look at this window sticker. Y'all can pause anywhere you need to if you need to take a closer look at anything. And this is the nightshade edition and that's why this thing looks so bad. I like that package a lot. And then that optional tonneau cover, 650, all weather floors, 258. We got the mud guards for 140, highly recommend those. And then here's our front passenger seat here. Manual seat back and then a manual seat bottom. Lockable glove compartment. As we come back around to the front, this hood is so heavy, it's been like this as long as I've been reviewing cars. So hold on, Ugh. man, that's heavy. But there's that 3.5 liter naturally aspirated V6 in there. 
And I'm not slamming the hood, it's just heavy. Ooh. But next is go ahead and hop in the driver's seat. So leather wrap steering wheel here. There's a horn over here to the radio. Navigation system built in here. Hit that search and you can either use destination assist, type in a keyword or address, voice recognition there. Then you can use points of interest, etc. And then our menu options are in here. So for audio, we do get AM, FM, and XM radio along with Bluetooth audio. We still have a USB port, which is nice to have, I guess. And then we have Apple CarPlay, Android Auto wired. So the compatibility for that as well. And then apps are here. Not too much going on here, but you can download certain apps or update the system. Info's here, so you can keep track of your fuel economy. XM weather, you even have traffic. And then we also have our settings in here. And we can change language, turn the beep off, units of measurement, all of that. Now for the backup camera, you do get the guidelines that follow as you turn the steering wheel along with that bird's eye view, which is nice. And then volume, you can turn this up, click to turn the audio off and then turn it back down. Down here, we get three stage heated front seats for either side and then dual zone automatic climate control. So we can set the auto by clicking here. We can sync and unsync by clicking there, or we can just unsync by adjusting that passenger temperature. I'm gonna adjust fan speed here and then click to decide where the airflow is coming from. Heated mirrors are there, four wheel drive controls are here. You can just turn and then you wanna push to get it into the four wheel low. So I can just turn a four wheel high and then again push to get into four wheel low. Make sure you're in neutral to do that. Down here, blind spot monitor toggle. We have the parking sensors toggle. We have our power rear window, power sliding rear window, excuse me. There's that port. And then the wireless charger indicator there. And then a 12 volt here. And then this is for the electronically controlled power. So that's basically, it's, a, it's not a sport mode, but it's like the closest thing you get to a sport mode. But let's show this power sliding rear window. Looking at the back seat while we're back there. And then the wireless charging pads here, bottle holders here for the shifter. Just pull reverse neutral drive. Come over here to manually shift up and down. And then we have the parking brake there. This one does have a safe in it. So that's how you open that. And then to the sunroof, you can either tilt or slide it. So that's a one touch there. Goes all the way back, which is nice. Hit it a second time, it goes behind the actual shade. So that's impressive. And we can just pull that back to close it. And the buttons for those, for the sunroof is right there. Sunglasses holder here. And then the garage door transmitter is in that rear view mirror. Back to the steering wheel, blinkers, headlamps, auto. We can turn that, all the lights off there. Fog light toggles here. When the headlamps are on, we can turn the high beams on. We can flash there. And then windshield wiper controls, one time off, intermittent low, high, and then our intermittent can be adjusted here. And we can pull up here for the front wiper fluid. Now to the steering wheel itself, we can go through our track list or radio station presets here. Adjust volume down, up voice recognition. You can use this to go through the audio sources and then you can hold it to mute. And then Bluetooth controls are here. Now this takes you to the home page of your gauge cluster, that button, and then you can scroll through everything. Left or right, get you through these sub menus and then within each one you can go up or down. And then you can use this as like an enter button and this is a back button. 
and then the gap adjust for the radar cruise, the lane departure system, and then the radar cruise itself can be toggled on or off, and then you can hold it when turning it on to put in just the regular cruise control there. Set the speed down, up, cancel. Push button starts here. Here's the key fob. And next is go ahead and take this Tacoma Limited out of the road for a quick test drive. So starting the test drive in this Tacoma V6, I've always liked the kind of, it's not a tick, but it just, it sounds like a diesel the engine does in these. And it's just, it's enjoyable to have under throttle. And we're gonna put the ECT power on now. And let's see what this does. So it's wanting to rev a little hotter. So a pretty fun little sport mode to have there. We'll turn that off for now. But under just light throttle, it actually is pretty quiet in here. The sound acoustics are good. And sitting in the driver's seat with the sunroof, I have an inch or two of headroom. And then the seat is just wide enough for, actually I have a little bit of space left over for my wider stature. Now with the six speed automatic, I like where the shift points are. They make sense to me without being overly thirsty, I think. And then when I put my foot down, I always feel like I have a gear to kind of downshift to, to get more power. And I feel like a lot of people are going to miss this engine when the the two or I shouldn't say the two liter turbos but the the four cylinder turbos come out in the redesign now I think the redesign looks pretty good but just as Toyota's kind of slightly refreshed the Tacoma over the years especially with this package on here that gives you that grill and the blacked out badging and everything I just I feel like I'm gonna miss this truck Just the driving dynamics. I don't know if we'll still have, I'm not, I need to look up that newer Tacoma, but I like to kind of be surprised when stuff hits the dealer lots, but I'm not sure if that's gonna have a, a traditional transmission or if it's gonna be an eight speed, a 10 speed transmission. Because depending on what you're into or what your, what's important to you when driving a truck, you may or may not want to get your hands on one of these 23s I know like in the Tundra, having the six-speed automatic and just the naturally aspirated V8, those were known to last quite a while. And then when the twin turbo V6 with the 10-speeds came out, people were kind of afraid of buying those. But these definitely have a track record along with the, the Land Cruisers, the Tundras, the Camrys. Just having a simple powertrain. These are known to last quite a while. You have kind of iffy things that happen with them, but for the most part, the engine and transmissions, from what I've heard at least, tend to be pretty reliable. And in terms of competition with the Ranger coming out, and then with the new Colorados and Canyons that came out for 23. I'm wondering how that new Tacoma or even this older Tacoma is going to stand the test of time because then you have the new Santa Cruz and then the Maverick 
And I feel like both of those have taken market share from the kind of small to mid-sized trucks having these compact trucks out on the road. But I'm gonna put it back into the ECT power and let's see how this accelerates getting on the interstate. So not bad acceleration. If I had put my foot into it, I probably would have been impressed. But I just kind of gave it mid light throttle because this only has 92 miles on it. I don't want to thrash it. But it is nice to have the lane departure warning and the radar cruise here for longer journeys. Now with it being pretty windy out, the wind noise is coming in the cabin, but it's extremely deadened by the sound acoustics in here. I'm actually pretty impressed. And the other interesting thing about this truck is the visibility where you're sitting lower or maybe where the hood is higher, however all this plays out. The visibility is very good out the front, even though the hood is kind of up because I'm, I still feel like I'm able to see out everywhere. Now around this price point, you are getting a bit on the expensive side, but honestly, it's about on point, maybe even a little bit cheaper than the competition. I mean, this is a limited, you have the four wheel drive, the V6, radar cruise control, dual zone climate controls, heated seats, all that, and even the sunroof. And that power sliding rear window is a big plus as well. So I still feel like this is a good buy, even with it being a little dated and getting a, a complete refresh, or redesign, excuse me, for the 24 model year. But I wanna give one more huge shout out to John Roberts Toyota for allowing me to review this Tacoma today. Pretty good people out there in Manchester, Tennessee. So if you're in the market for something like this, definitely make sure you check them out. But with all that being said, this is gonna bring me to the end of my review of this 2023 Toyota Tacoma with the V6.